Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to do a BIOS update on the ASRock Fatality B450 Gaming ITX slash AC. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, on today's video, we're going to show you how to do a BIOS update on this one. This is the ASRock B450 Gaming ITX AC. Nice little ATX sorry, ITX motherboard from ASRock, and we're planning to do a BIOS upgrade to get a new chip and all that kind of stuff installed on the board. And I thought this would be a good time to actually do it, along with the Ryzen 3000 chips being out now, a lot of these motherboards don't actually support the chips out of the box, so you do need to perform a BIOS update before you upgrade. So what we're gonna do is go through the update process. I'm gonna show you how to do it on the PC. Now you will need some things, an uh, internet connection ideally, and a USB flash drive is gonna be really handy depending on how you proceed through the BIOS updates. You can choose to do it completely online through the uh, BIOS or UEFI, or you can do it from a USB stick. So let's go to the computer and we'll go through the process. Okay, so to start off with, let's get into Chrome and we'll go to the ASRock website. And the first thing we wanna do is to find the latest BIOS. So we can go through products, go through motherboards, now obviously this is gonna be the same uh, process depending on which motherboard you've got from pretty much any manufacturer to be honest with you. So we can go through and find what we want, put some tick boxes in there and we should be able to find our motherboard. So here we are, this is the Fatality B450 Gaming ITX AC. So we'll click on that one to find out more details. Now generally on most sites, if you go to them, you can find the actual product details. And if you go to either the top or the bottom, you'll find you've got a section for support. So. We'll go into there, and then we've got an option for downloads and BIOS and all that kind of stuff. So for us, we want BIOS, and here we are. This is the latest BIOS. So what you can do is you can update the BIOS from the UEFI using Instant Flash, but you need to download it onto a USB stick. So I'm gonna put my USB stick into the computer now. And we'll format the disk. Wait while it does that. They don't always have to format the disk, but it's probably good practice to do so. And there we go, our format is complete. So that is our drive ready. Cancel that. So what we can do now is download the latest version. Now I've actually checked, I'm currently on version 3.2 and we wanna go up to 3.5. Now, there doesn't seem to be any obvious reasons why we can't actually go straight ahead and do that. Now, if you do have a CPU or APU, which is based on uh, Pinnacle, Raven, Summit, or, Raven, or Bristol Ridge CPU, then um, obviously pay attention to these details. These will be different from for some boards. Basically, it's mostly based on the kind of the updates. So, yeah, so the only thing we have to look out for, if the BIOS version is older than 1.7, then please update through the range, blah, 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 et cetera. But uh, I think we're gonna be good. So if we just go for the, the very latest version, and we'll download it now. And again, we've got another warning message there, so make sure you've read it, and you can go ahead and download. And what we wanna do is save that ROM. We'll save it to our USB drive. And we see that's downloading. Now, generally what I like to do personally is to go to the actual drive itself, verify it is there, and actually also extract the, uh, the file as well. This isn't necessary, generally we'll do it from the zipped file, but I don't know what it is. I used to always do this in the good old days, so why change the habit? So what we can do now is we can reboot the system. And what we want to do is when the PC starts coming back on, just want to hit the delete key or whatever is appropriate for your particular motherboard. In my case, it's the delete key. So we're going to tap the delete key to get into the UEFI, or UEFI rather. And there we go, there is our BIOS. So my screen may look slightly different from yours. Um, for one reason, my capture card isn't working particularly well, but you get the general idea. So what we can do is go into Tool, and then we wanna go into Instant Flash. 
and immediately it's actually scanned it and it's found the latest version if you want to. If it doesn't find it, you can rescan your device, but that's the one we want to use. Do you want to update UEFI to this version? And we'll click yes. So as it says there, do not power off during UEFI mode. Let it go on and do its thing. Now you will find on some instances, I think this is probably gonna be the same. Yeah, I'm moving the mouse and the mouse cursor isn't moving. So generally whilst this is happening, the system will actually disable any input until it's actually done what it needs to do or until it's rebooted itself. So let's let it go through the process. This will take a little while, so we'll fast forward through this. Okay, so once we get to the end now, we'll get the, uh, well, hopefully you will get the message saying programming success, press enter to reboot system. So now the mouse and keyboard are reactive. So we can click on okay or press the enter button. At which point you should find the computers powering down completely. And then as is quite normal for AM4 motherboards, it should probably take quite a long time to reboot. You'll probably find actually a couple of restarts in between. So just be patient and wait for it to do its thing. And there we go, we're back up. And if we now go into CPU-Z, and we go into main board, we should now see that we've got the latest version. So here we are, we're on P3.50. And that is the AGESA combo AM4, 1.0.0.3. So yeah, we're all good. So there you go, there is a pretty straightforward way of updating your motherboard to the latest BIOS on the ASRock B450 Fatality Gaming AC. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Oh, and while you're still here, what processor should we upgrade it to now, now that we've got compatibility with Ryzen 3000? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.